Election has come and gone in Luxembourg. The national election took place on the 8th of, uh, 8th of October 2023. The nations was uh, agog with uh, movement and uh, people participated a lot to try to cast their votes. I think you could see, you have seen this in uh, my previous broadcast. If you haven't seen this, please go back and uh, check my previous broadcast. It's just for you know, educational purpose for us to learn and get closer to, to the seat of power where the odd decision, uh, odd decision has been made or has been made. Uh, right now, I want to furthermore inform us about uh, how government is formed in Luxembourg, how government is formed in Luxembourg or generally how government is formed in a parliamentary system of government. Though I've mentioned this in one of the, in one of the broadcasts too, uh, the election has, has, has been won and lost uh, for many of the political parties, but right now, the party that is leading or the party uh, that we form the government right now will be the party, the CSV. Uh, 12 political party, like I told you, contested in this election with their representatives. And uh, you know I said uh, uh, there are four constituencies in Luxembourg and uh, from the four constituencies, our representatives are going to be uh, elected and sent to the center, uh, that is the chamber of chambers of deputies, uh, for them to represent the nation and make policies and uh, support the government of the of the country. So right now, what are the political parties? What are those political parties? I think I told you before that we have SAP, uh, that is a Luxembourg Social Workers Party. Then we have DP Democratic Party. Then we have the Green. We have CSV. Christian Social People's Party. Then we have the left, we have ADR, Alternative Democratic Reform Party. We have the Pilot Party, we have Focus Party, we have Vote, we have KPL, Communist Party of Luxembourg. Then we have Freiheit, the Liberty, uh, that's a new political party on stage. And we have the Conservatives. Those are the three political parties that contested, participated in this uh, last uh, election. Now, furthermore, I want uh, us to discuss about how the government is formed uh, after election. Uh, after the election, the government is formed by, you know, by the, the chambers of deputies. All of them uh, elected will go to the chambers of deputies. Now from there, the government will be formed. But before the government is formed, what will happen? But before I go into this, let's go back a bit in history to try to see what happened before this uh, present uh, coalition that is the coalition government of a uh, prime minister better the first one and the second one then i want to mention to us about the previous government from 1979 until 2013 that was the the government of a uh, minister prime minister jean claude juncker you know uh prime minister juncker was the one before prime minister better uh, he got to the government in 1995 uh, and then from there on he was there until until 2013 before uh prime minister better took over from him and he spent 18 18 good years his political party and himself spent 18 years in government and his party is csv remember csv happens to be the party that won that has the majority seat in this, uh, this this last election so they've been in power before and they're going to continue now because they are now the one that is leading in the uh, have the majority of the seats in the in the parliament so that is uh, one information for us to to hold on to and uh, we go further and try to understand that uh, we have 60 60 members of uh, of the parliament come coming together from different different political parties all of them will go together into the chambers of deputies so out of there then they will choose the prime minister but before the prime minister has been choosing the responsibility of the the grand duke is to appoint a a formator a formator will be appointed the formator will be the person to form the government so officially the party that has the largest numbers of seats in the parliament will be invited by the grand group and give them this 
the uh, the the mandate to go and form the government. But before, previously, uh, during the time of uh, uh, Prime Minister Savia Bete, uh, the Minister of uh, Justice was appointed, and there was asked. It used to be like that too. That uh, you will be asked to go and uh, form a government uh, by the order of the of the Grand Duke. So then. The Grand Duke appointed uh, uh, a formator and another, inf- uh, another informator. So the latter is the task of with meeting with the representatives of the main uh, party, subsequently reporting back to the Grand Duke, to whom he or she recommends as a formator. So it has to be like that, two stages sometimes, like, uh, okay, the formators will be called an, an informator also, an informator or an informator will be, be called upon to to has to form the government. So a formator, meanwhile, is taxed with building the government. Uh, the last election, uh, Attorney General, like I said, uh, Martin uh, Solofiev was appointed as informator, and uh, subsequently, uh, it talks with a political party that has the largest numbers in the parliament then. Then uh, that was uh, the DP, uh, the one that's supposed to form the government, so they spoke. She spoke with them, and uh, from there, he appointed. Uh, he recommended uh, Mr. Savia Better to to be the formator to form the, the last government, the one that is going that you want, the one that is going off now. So that is the way to form the government. The formator will be appointed by the Grand Duke, and the, the, with the approval of the Grand Duke, he will ask them to go and meet with the political party, the one with the largest with the largest seat in the parliament to now has them to meet together and try to form to form the government. So right now, the largest party going further in the in the chambers of deputy is uh, CSV. Like I mentioned before, CSV, if you ha- want to know the meaning of CSV, uh, the connotation is Christian Socialist, Socialist People's Party. So that is a CSV. So CSV right now has the largest fold, uh, largest seat in the in the House of uh, Parliament, meaning that uh, the last coalition government of DP, LSP, and the Green will no no will lo- no longer exist anymore. Because I mean, uh, the the Green lost a lot of uh, seats in the they lost a lot of seats in the in the last election so which made them not to be able to go ahead and uh, form government form any government because nobody's going to ask them now to come and join them to form uh, any government but so right now csv is uh, is the one saddled with the responsibility of forming uh, of forming the polit- uh, of forming the next government because uh, i think they have uh, with uh, 21 seats in the house csv is now the you know the, the has the choice to call people to join them to to form the government so uh csv has two choices it's either csv join with dp uh the party of prime the prime minister better because the dp has 14 seats plus two they, they has 14 14 seats before now they had two they had they had two uh two more in the parliament so now <coughs> or otherwise they can uh, also call on the socialist party that is sap to form the government so two choices either you go with uh, either they go with see either they go with dp or they go with uh El Sape. El Sape has 11 seats before then they're, ha- they're having one more now so making 12 also in the chambers of deputies so definitely csb will now look for which one uh either of these two parties the one that their program will be will match each other for them to go ahead and uh, form the government so i think right now and i believe right now according to the news that uh, grand duke has called uh, uh mr look freedom the leader of the party of uh, csv to go and form the to go and form the government so look freedom met with the met with the grand duke today and then uh, the grand duke has uh, appointed appointed him and uh, gave him give gave him the order to go and uh, form uh, form the government so right now CSV with 21 seat, majority seat. So their are, their are, uh, are outlook now is to have uh, the the requirement that is the, the the right number the right number to form to form the government because right now the the law says that a you know a party that is going to form the government has to be the one that is leading number one number two then who which party that are forming the government their vote or their seats should be more than 30 
when they want to form the government. So now, with 21 seats and uh, the uh, 16 seat of uh, or CSV, they stand the chance of uh, forming the government, and uh, they will be, you know, out of the rain. Correctly, out of the rain, because they will have more than uh, they will have like 35 seat, 35 seats in the house. So if they go by the way of uh, DP, or if they don't go by the way of DP, uh, for sure they will have 30, 31 vo votes of 30, no, sorry, not votes but seats in the house. That is 11 plus one, that is 12 plus uh, plus 21 seats that they had before. So it will make them to be clear to form the government so they are the darling bride now so the party of SAP also is looking for them that is a uh, lady Paulette Lenette also is looking you know towards the way of uh, being in the government and forming the government with uh, CSV so they are in the talk now but uh, I think I think I think in my own uh, estimation and calculation CSV will definitely go with uh, uh, we go with uh, DP so if they are program if their programs and manifestos align with each other so C CSV DP is 35 they have you know the 35 after 60 that's what we're talking about the 60 of the 60 members of the house so they if they have 35 on their side it's good or CSV will have uh, CSV and SAP with 32 on their side so it could also they could also form uh form coalition uh coalition government to to, to move ahead and uh, uh to move ahead and uh, rule the and guide the country and rule the country further than uh, the way it was under the under the former prime minister as a former prime minister now i actually still the prime minister but at least i mean in a couple of days he will be out of the out of the way so usually it takes the last uh, the last coalition government was was formed was put together within six weeks so i hope this one will not be longer than that so six weeks I mean, it takes them six weeks. It can take longer than that, but at least six weeks to form the government. So if they have good agreement, because now the more the party, the more the party that are going to form the government, the more the problem. So I think uh, right now, uh, CSV is having a better chance because, I mean, meeting with one of the two parties I mentioned is going to make it more easier for them to, to control the to control the talk when they, when, they, when, when, they in, when they are in the talk. Because it's going to be difficult if you have like three, four, five parties trying to form a government. So it's, it's not going to be neat. It's not going to be neat at all. So there will be a lot of disagreement and the program bringing their different type of program will not allow the talk to go on perfect or, or, or easily so with two parties i think it's uh, it's okay and uh, there won't be any problem along the way because i mean government can fall if there are disagreements within the coalition uh, coalition parties so that is the way the government is formed here so because the current government doesn't, doesn't have uh, no more majority so uh, they lost out so it's unfortunate for them they see the uh the DP, DP leading a coalition, so unfortunately they will be. So the party that lost a lot, uh, that that didn't have much, uh, that lost a lot in this uh, in this uh, past election, is uh, the Green. So that is one that that is the reason why they wouldn't be able, or the the current uh, the current coalition wouldn't go on because they lost. But I think they lost about four seats out of their seat they had before. So that is a uh, a big problem for them. So it's easy when it comes to you know forming the government and they're uh, moving on in a parliamentary system of government so but uh, in presidential system of government like i used to do the comparison i think i prefer more of a parliamentary system of government which is which is uh, which which is the one that we are practicing here in luxembourg so for me the best is to have the parliamentary system so at least you know the collective responsibility clause will also be there for them to you know for them to to go with by the you know by the opposition and the, by the government the, the the government in power so at least they will be responsible seriously responsible rather than uh, uh, rather than uh, in the presidential system of government whereby you know it's anyhow in his name so anything goes over there and uh, you know when that takes up and uh, it's 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 not that it's not that fine so let me tell you the numbers of the seat in the parliament right now who and who are sitting there right now so the chamber is the chamber is uh, currently composed of the following parties uh the csv with 21 seats dp 14 seats plus two 14 seats 14 seats now we had two more so making 16 seats then we have a uh, LSAP, which is 11 seats plus one seat more. 11 before plus another one. ADR, five seats before, that is uh, plus one. They have one more. Then we have the green. The green lost 
five seats out of the one they had before nine so definitely making they had nine before so now they they they, they, they lost they lost five seats out of the uh out of the parliament so pirate party had three before then the plus one they had one more and the left party they had two before and the they, they still maintain their two they are two so the the, the remark of uh, the the formator now mr luke Friedman of csv which is most likely mr luke Friedman is most likely to be the prime minister the new prime minister so he said uh, is what he said about the result he said this result are is their result are really really remarkable and they really like it uh, so much and he said uh, uh he is he, uh, really ready to to form the government and uh, start uh, to form a new government with uh, with dp with DP or Elsa, or so they, I mean, it, it, it is uh, that is what is that, that is what's on, on table right now. So, uh, if you have any other, if you have any question or suggestion or addition into what I'm trying to discuss, I think I we really welcome it too. You can put your comment in the comment section and let us try to discuss together about this uh, how government is formed in Luxembourg, what make government uh, fall under what uh, and all what not that you know about. Uh, this system of government that we're trying to discuss so please come up and uh, please put your comment or give me a call we can also discuss you know we can discuss and uh, try to learn more uh within ourselves so that's why we're trying to make this you know try to you know ask the foreigner also to get closer to the seat of power join political party let the children also uh our children also let them join the political party for them to at least rise up to the to the top so it's not like uh, the you know the the developing nation whereby most of most of us uh came out from so it is uh much much easier here because these things are very orderly so it's uh it's an advantage to be here and uh, whatever you see whatever whatever talent that you think you have that you can you know use to make to, to move the nation forward at least you'll be able to do what you'll be able to exhibit it so i'm calling on you to uh, put your comment down there and let us talk more about uh, how government is forming uh, luxembourg and anything that you you know you think that you want to add as an addition to you know to this uh, uh discussion on this present uh, broadcast so this is the uh, chukitable media and uh, I will be expecting your comments if you have any to give to me. So, you know, one thing I'm missing out is, uh, you know, the members of the government. So if you, you we know that one automatically. So if you, if you are a member of the parliament, you know, el uh, elected, excuse me, elected as a member of the parliament. So the only thing that will happen is if you, if the government also or the coalition call you to come up, to come to become a minister under the under the government so definitely you will move out of the legislature because this legislative yeah the system is about it's, it's in three tiers number one is executive legislative and like the, the judiciary so from the legislature we form the government and uh, if you are appointed you move out you become an executive and that's it and you lose the seat and they give the seat to another person because you cannot be in the you can actually be in the legislature and at the same time be in the in the executive so or in the judiciary so that is the way it is so it doesn't stop anything but you move on and like that so that is uh, the way to appoint uh, the ministers you know so ministers will always be you know in the executive arm of, of, of government so let's let me know let me let me know let me also learn more from you if you have any other contribution rather than what i'm trying to discuss here so chucky table media is bringing this to you i don't want this to be too long but uh, please contribute like subscribe and uh, you know share this uh, broadcast i would like this so much thank you so much this is tricky table media giving you current information this information that chokes thank you <laughs>